And in the meantime, in case you're just joining us, as you see, Al Roker has landed here in Cleveland. And during his visit, he's been checking out his favorite spots with some of are you his favorite people. Comparing me to a people. Chinese rocket? You <laughs> are. Cool. Yeah, I think. So, I think they just purposely. landed. We had no idea he was coming. <laughs> he just dropped out of the sky. You were not claimed like a by China. Ton rocket. You were not claimed by China. You're claimed by us. That's right. Claimed by Cleveland. <laughs> and most of you has landed here. That's what we're happy about. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, things really came full circle for you last week, right? Yeah, it, it, they did, David and Maureen. Uh, it's been great taking a walk down memory lane. And, and I knew that when I was in town, I had to revisit some of the things. The one thing that really always stood out in my mind, the late night rapid ride from Tower City, from the Terminal Tower, with the legendary Leon Bibb. Oh, man, look at these. This Nice. Oh, yeah. There he is. My man. My Leon. man. Uh, my man. So how good to are see you? you. Great. Good to see you, too. I like how you have arranged a car for us. Just us. What it's a guy. This is a little different than we used to do it. Woo. I, I always talk about when you and I rode the Rapid Transit. The 1202 yeah. uh, going out to Shaker, and, we, and a bunch of us, our producers and yeah. you and me, we'd ride this thing. We'd ride this thing. Every night. I know, and it was great because uh, people, I think, after a while just knew to stay away from our part of the car. Right. Because it was loud, <laughs> it was boisterous, there was some profanity. It was fantastic. I brought you something because this was my my name for you, Big Al. That's right. You Big gave Al, me a the sportsman's pal. Well, well, not to be, I had given you a nickname because you always read poetry and, yeah. you know, you were like, really smooth. So, uh, Cool Papa Bib cool. <laughs> was my nickname for you. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know? One of the things that I love about Cleveland, still love about Cleveland, are the people. Everybody, I, I, when I was walking in here, hey, Al, how you doing? Hey, it's like I never left. No, you haven't left as far as people knew you. What do you think of the city? How is the city doing? Now, you're going to be reporting on that. Yeah. Right? yeah. How are we looking? Well, look, it, 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 it looks terrific. I mean, look, every city has had a bit of a setback, but if any city's poised for a comeback uh, after after uh, uh, this pandemic, yeah. it's Cleveland. I mean, you've got you've got the natural beauty of the lake. Yeah. Yeah. Very few cities have what Cleveland has. That lake, you've got three major sports franchises within a stone's throw of each other, uh, and you've got cultural institution. It truly is one of the greatest locations in the nation. <laughs> You know, you and I began, when we started at Channel 3, right. it was the beginning of Cleveland's resurgence. Yes. And there was also something else that was happening. We were two black guys yeah. breaking into television yeah. in Cleveland. Yeah. And that, that, that said something, didn't it? Well, look, they, they, they really hadn't seen anything like that. Channel 3 took a chance. Not so much on you, because you were from, you're from Cleveland. Did you hear about the election? I was a kid from New York City, and they took a shot. Uh, but the thing that I always, and I've always told people this, you've been my idol. I mean, I, you took me kind of under your wing, you kind of showed me around. WKYC was my launching pad. Yeah. Channel 3 made me who I am, really. Woo! That's right, Channel 3, it's your fault. <laughs> so, uh, and later that day, I had a chance to reunite with some of my former colleagues here at the station. It was really terrific catching up and remembering, I mean, really great times. But also how things have changed. But I also things things always change for the better, and uh, that certainly happened here. The station is just that much more of a powerhouse, and it's so exciting. The guys, the thing, the joke always was, it's always going to be better in the new building, because <laughs> we were on East Sixth Street right. across in this crummy building across from mm -hmm. what's now the Drury Hotel. It was the Department of Education. Uh, it was just a dump, and uh, <laughs> and then I left, and like two years later. You built a new building, uh, <laughs> so it's nice to be here. And isn't it beautiful? I mean, we, we got it's quite gorgeous. the view. You know, Al, I, I have yeah. to say, did you ever imagine that you and Leon would have a whole RTA car to yourself? No, that's when you know you've made it, you know? <laughs> I mean, look, Leon and I boosted a car or two in our time, but, you know, <laughs> to actually... You know, be able to get on a <laughs> rapid car by ourselves. I know. You know the, now, you'll know you've made it when they let you drive it. Yeah. That would be the best. <laughs> All right, next time you're in town.
or maybe sometime this week we'll get you okay. to drive it. Yep.